Ghana. Fungu wa vitabu we. Some ni vijana usiku na mchana jenga maisha we. Mchana. Fungu wa vitabu we. Some ni vijana usiku na mchana mpange ni maisha we. Oh vijana, oh vijana, oh vijana we. Soma soma sana. Kesho utalala. You look a bit in thought. Are you thinking of something or maybe you want to table a new motion in parliament? <laughs> Mr. Chengo, new motion? Uh, probably that is the word, new motion. Ah, it has not been raining for a while now. Yeah, the weather is really bad. Farmers will have a very poor yield. A good reason for someone to play up with the prices, you know, buying and selling. And you know what? That is how school fees goes up. If farmers produce less food, school fees goes up. You're right. If farmers produce less, prices will go up. Mm. And that means the same little food which will be available will be sold to schools at high prices. And that means the same poor parent who is a parent at that school will have enough to pay twice to keep the kid at school. You know... Uh, our economy is very much interconnected. One sector affects another. That is very true and that is why we insist as a county government that our people should understand that public participation is the key to solving some of these problems we have. You see, if our people come together, even the food prices will reduce, believe you me. I believe you. I believe you. If food prices become cheaper, then school fees, the parents will pay less school fees. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I was saying all boarding schools should find ways of cutting down their food budgets. Oh, cutting their food budget? Yeah. My experience is that unless you are talking of those rich private schools, you will even agree with me mm -hmm. that uh, 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 food budget should always go up. That is why I keep saying that unless we do away with some of the rich people. Food budget is always up. It is an item that in every boarding school, that is an item that is always up. <laughs> and that is why I keep saying that unless we do away with some of the rich people even in our BOG, we are going to fail totally, I'm telling you. Really? Yes, the problem, Mr. Chengu, even you, you know it. Look at someone like Maju. That man influences the principal and he colludes to supply food to the school. How will food prices not go high? How will we avoid even giving bad food to our kids? Just because someone is being compensated somewhere? No. You know what, Madam Lucia? My line of work is very serious. <laughs> and I'm telling you this. If I get anyone messing up with the parents' money, money meant for our kids, I'm telling you, we are going to jail them. <laughs> jail <laughs> them! Whom will you catch? Only those poor little heads of schools. You're not going to catch anyone. <laughs> what? Salome. Yeah? Did you write the check for Matron yesterday? Matron? No, I wrote for Sophie and Tanya. Okay. No, but it's a bouncing check and he ain't got no money. And by the way, Salome. Yeah? Yesterday you had a very deep discussion with the Matron. What was it about? I tell you, we are in for a show. A show, you see? Mm -hmm. And what is that supposed to mean? People have lost passwords. The future, it is not. Everything is out there. Salome, can we be straightforward? Are teachers going on strike? <clears throat> I wish it were that simple. See, hmm? the decisions you make today, more about your future. Mm -hmm. The younger you are, the more careful you need to be. Salome, the world is not all that bad. I mean, there's some good people out there. Plenty of them. Everyone. Everyone. Uh, maybe a few. Anyway, let me do this account thing and pay you people before... Before? 
before what? You said you're on your way. It's taking long. Oh, five minutes? Okay, I'll wait. Anyway, hmm? So see Antania. Yeah, come here. Ah, it's a love. That that girl Nina who sings very well during Florence today. Looks worried. Looks very worried. Is there anything the matter in this school? Tanya, you know, the deputy was at my kiosk last night. He was even accompanied by a student. Student as they do. But me, I'm telling you, the security in this place, ah, it is very good. You know, you cannot walk around like that in other places. So see, that is interesting. Can you just tell me more? <laughs> come Did on! Did you at night? Mm. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, Italy. No, for many, many years I've been here. I have seen teachers walk around with students. <laughs> that is nothing new to me. Anyway, madam, you know, I can get somebody to supply me the meals at a very cheap price. Those are principles. Sometimes even cuts me off without any reason. You met him out there, yeah? huh? Mm. Why didn't you tell him yourself? <laughs> My time, you know you cannot argue with these big, big people. So see, huh? Can you use your head well? I'm able to supply my milk and eggs since this new principal came. You are supplying your vegetables here. You're only thinking about yourself. Tanya, eh? I used to supply maize and beans to this school. Now we people from this area. Not sell to our own school. Eh? Tell me, who are those who are supplying me? Who are they? Who are they? Are they not relatives of the principal? Relatives? Yeah, no, no, I know these things are true because the deputy tells me. Saucy, so Saucy, so if you don't stop that kind of talk, even the wage supply will be terminated. Tell him. And who are these people that supplies maize and beans that we're in this of? Who are they? I don't. Saucy, so what kind of justice do you want? Hmm? Is it a monopoly kind of justice? Tommy, Tommy. Salome, just stay out of this. Okay, so you team helps from this area. All you want is to free this school, then blame the outsiders. So see, without this school, you'll be a beggar. <laughs> Won't you? No, business. I'm Master life skills, my friend. Life skills, I said. So, so right, so right. Uh. And you, Tanya, hey, your younger sister is here with us. Uh, we basically pay her school fees by buying rotten eggs and milk. Right? Right? Right! Uh, Tommy, to, to you know, you know Sosi dropped out of school because he was expelled. Tanya, I was expelled not because I was foolish. Huh? No, I was expelled because I was cheated by a foolish teacher. Foolish friend of mine, they, 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 they confused me to take him into a strike. But now looking back, it had nothing to do with us passing the examinations. <laughs> but solving the differences between two people. No, actually, madam, <laughs> the two are fighting <laughs> over our madam. Sosie, are you mad? Huh? Sosie, I'm asking you, are you mad? How can you call a teacher foolish? Somebody who rips out the layers of ignorance out of your head you call foolish. I wish you were a little bit more educated. You couldn't be talking things no. here. Shut up! And you know foolishness as a woman. No, the two of you. Madam. Get out. No, madam. No, it is not as a lot of things. Madam. Get out. <laughs> madam, no, I have school fees to pay for. No, you don't need to do it. I don't need to pay, madam. Just please. Get out! <laughs>
Luba, welcome. Thanks. I was actually rushing to see Chairman's friend Lucia okay. when you called me. Eh? So I had to change direction and rush back here quickly. Yeah. But like, today it's windy, eh? Yes, it's a sign God is just about to bless us with some rain, I guess. But like, you sounded distressed when you called. Correct. Kabonga just called me and said my trucks have been impounded by the police. Oh, sorry about that. I just talked to my driver and the turn boy. And they said the police are neither willing to listen or to look at the documents they have. It's crazy. <laughs> that sounds strange. No, something is amiss. I mean, why, why would they refuse to look at uh, documents and verify them? Well, the reason I called you here is that you may help me with investigations. Investigation? Yes. <laughs> Mr. Majuro, I don't know how to do this. Please, have some something to eat. You see, what you need to do is just meet with Kabonga first. Kabonga is a journalist. He's a broadcaster. I mean, he knows all these things. Ask him who told him about the impounding. But how will that help? I mean, all you need to do is just present your documents to the police. And I think they'll, they'll, sort you, they'll release your vehicles. I will do that. But first, what I need to know is who is this reporting to the police? That is where it all leads to. Someone is after my business. But I've known you to be Kabonga's friend for a long time. Yes. In fact, you are his, you're very close buddies. Mm -hmm. Why don't you just ask him directly and I'm sure he'll give you the information. My friend, this is a strategy. It's a way of verifying what he's going to tell me. Because the police cannot just detain my tracks without someone being behind it. Ah, uh, I really feel helpless with this. I really don't know how to help you, Mr. Maju. So, I'm asking you to do me a favor, and you're saying you cannot do it. No, no, no. You no, no. Did you say you can't do it? No, please. You have got me completely wrong. I will do anything for you, Mr. Maju. Then do what I'm asking you to do. Uh, my friend, I cannot lie to you and tell you that I can do something that I do not have the skills to do that. Mr. Maju, you are an informed and experienced man. I will not like to. If I do, I'll just be playing around with your mind. Okay. You said you're on your way to Lucia's. Please. Okay. We'll probably meet at the restaurants later. See you, Luba. Okay. Tanya! Ta Tanya! Tanya!
But now, how, how do we develop a good presentation when we don't have the same kind of motivation? I said I'm sorry. My motivation is for me to work on the project as you guys choose the appropriate time for us. Moshi, you need to grow out of your anger. Eh? You still carry the grant. The computer was formatted. Let us restart the presentation because we do not have a lot of time on our side. Come see what you've done. Nangasa, your main work here is to do makeup. Makeup all the time. And you, Nina, why don't you open your own zano? How are you, Mr. Chwai? I'm fine. <sighs> I mean, it's unfortunate to say that uh, it's again another time to suspend and then expel some students. You're what for? Uh, noise and near trouble in the dormitory. And uh, did you catch them? No, 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 no. The, the prefects did this for me, as they've always done. Mm. Mm. Okay. I'm actually for the idea that uh, you do further investigations because uh, uh, prefects can be influenced by other students to report each other. Mr. Chupai, every time I try to bring up a case for your approval, you try to show me that my investigations are incomplete. No, 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 that's not the case. Why are you doing this to me? You're doing what? You want to tell me I should not punish those boys who broke the law of the school? Um, and for the idea, you do further investigation so that we don't break the other law. What other law? The employer's law. Look here. What I'm actually saying is that you should uh, investigate so that we have records. Otherwise, you cannot just go and tell uh, the members of the BOG, prefects told us, prefects say this, go home. No, 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 no. Surely I know that as the deputy head. That office demands that I take disciplinary actions against those students who cause trouble. That is why I came here to inform you that I'm taking the action. Mm. You only came to inform me. Then go ahead. Do whatever you want. I'm sorry. I did not mean to go in that direction. I came to you as the head of the school to inform you and get your approval. I need your approval. Thank you. You came to inform me. I am very well informed. Thank you. You know, it is becoming clearer in my mind that all you ever wanted to do is to undermine me. 
You probably don't want me to be promoted someday. Oh, vijana, oh, vijana, we Soma, soma sana Kesho utalala 